Rapper YouTube Landia. Yay! Welcome to Last Easy Review. When we talk about shit, I want to talk about because it's my channel. And work. Okay. Today's topic is about. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about. Yeah. You like the socks? Yeah. You like my socks? Yeah. You have to wear them out here in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico because the bugs will get you. Zzz. Boop. Okay, next. Not the bugs, the mosquitoes. They a bitch. Okay, so today's topic is about Boricua girls. Ah. A subject that we all love to talk about. If we Boricua. Ah, so here we go. Or even if we not. Do you know a Boricua out there? If you know a Boricua, kiss a Boricua. Mwah. Okay, back to the last video. Alright, so today we're going to talk about Boricua girls from then and now okay or from now and then oh whatever so from then till now right um i want to talk about i got this subject on my mind okay i do i got this subject on my mind because i feel like the boricua girls in the past are a lot different than they are today i i see that i see that i see that i'm gonna talk about the puerto rican girl of the 80s versus the puerto rican girl of today Okay, I know, I'm here, I have eyes, I see. And I'm not talking about the Puerto Rican girl from Puerto Rico and over there. No, I'm talking about Boricua girls from the 80s and, and now in NYC, what I know about, okay? And I'm talking about this because I don't really like the way they depict them on television and I always say that. And because they always depict them like it's the 80s today. Like it's still the 80s, it's not. It's not Miss Honey, okay? It's a big different world. So let's get it popping, let's get it started, all right? When I was growing up, the Puerto Rican girl was not the kind of girl that you could call a bitch to her face, okay? No. Uh, <clears throat> no. Okay? You couldn't say, listen, bitch, because you would have been had that girl crazy, all right? That girl would have flipped. That girl would have took out a knife on you, a gun, a hatchet, or whatever, her father, her mother, her grandparents, everybody would came out, they would have flipped, they would have killed you, all right? They would have tried. Anyway, a Puerto Rican girl from the 80s wasn't the kind of girl that was real keen and happy and excited to lose her virginity. She cried when she lost her virginity. Yes, that's how they were. I had lots of friends. That's I went to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't be a hoe and then think you gonna have all these Boricua friends with you because they would be like, "Oh my God, you are you you like a puta. You a hoe. How you gonna do that? How you gonna have sex with him? Oh my God, you just met him. No, you couldn't do that. And if you had sex, you didn't tell nobody about it. It was a secret. It was hush, hush, hush. And nobody talked about things like that. And there were always hoes out there. And you knew about them and the whole block knew about them and you was not allowed to hang out with them because then you would get a reputation. Yes, that was what they called a the reputation. We'd have the big World Wide Web. We'd have all that bullying and all that nonsense and all that FB and all that crazy shit. So you wasn't bullied on a large scale like that. But you was outcast. And yeah, and it was a lot of racial shit going on then, you know. The Puerto Ricans in my time didn't really mix outside their race. I mean, they were the Asians of the time because they didn't really mix outside their race. They really didn't. Not like they do now. And that's the part that's cool, where they go all over and they mix, and that's fantastic. And I love that because there was a lot of prejudice shit going on in my time. Yes, it, yes, it happened. And you know who you are. Stop pretending because there's a whole bunch of Puerto, Rican, Puerto Ricans out there that was like, no, we was like, yes. The ones that I grew up with, because most people's mothers talk like this. So they was, they'd be like, no, pop, because see, you know Maribel and you know. And then, yeah, they'd be talking to me because I have friends, okay? Uh, no, Leslie, venga aquí. You're not supposed to hang out. That's a moreno. That's a black kid. I don't want you hang And you couldn't hang out with black kids. No. I wasn't. It wasn't like that for me and my house. My mother spoke perfect English. You could bring any kind of friend you want. Black, Chinese, green, or purple, whatever. My mother didn't care. My mother was very New York. She was born and raised in New York City. She didn't have those issues. She was also educated in college. She had like a year of college, so she was a little bit educated. A lot of my friends' mothers weren't, so they was very ignorant. It was a very ignorant time. So if, like, say one of your homegirls was liking a black boy, they would have said something like, oh, you can't talk to him. He's black, and they would have said that. Yes, it's true. And you're going to get a lot of these old girls saying, no, that's not true. Yes, it is true, and you know it, but they're going to lie about it. Yes, they will. It was a different world, you know. Girls were a lot more innocent, I will say this. And they were fighters. They were fighters. They fought a lot. They fought for everything because they didn't understand too much about anything. Because it was a very ignorant time. There was a lot of no educated people out there. 
because their mothers weren't really educated. And that's a fact. That's the way it was. Where I grew up, that's the way it was. You went to their house, there was a lot of cooking. They were big on cooking. They were big on service and, you know, cleaning. It was not far-fetched for you to be hanging out with your friends and the mother to come out of nowhere with a bata and be like, Mira! Lori, ven aquí. You have to clean your room. You have to clean the little room with me. You have to do the laundry and all that shit. Yeah, because you have to do the laundry, the cleaning, the this, and that was a big deal. And they made big bochinche out of that. Like, you had to clean. You had to be up there. Cleaning was a woman's work, and it was a big, big, big deal. These kids today don't have really chores. They don't got to do shit but be little sluts, and then their mothers buy them whatever the fuck they want. They want... Phones and stuff like no, we didn't have phones. Number one, and even if we did, I don't think you would have had one. There was a lot of two parent households too. You did. It was normal to see a, a girl with her mother and her father. That was normal, you know. Nowadays, no. There's a lot of bastards out there, but back in my days, you could be called a bastard if you didn't have a father. You don't have a father. That's fucked up. Why? Why you don't have a father? Damn. Dang. Why you gotta go to your house and your mom's not there? She works. Wow. That's crazy shit wow yeah because your mother worked and you was like a big deal you was like the freak of the block because your mother worked and because you had a tv in your bedroom yes because most kids didn't and i know i'm talking about back in the days more than i'm talking about boricua girls but i have to set the stage for you baby i have to do that and so here we go the girls of my time did not take lightly for you be calling them a bitch you could forget that nowadays you could call them a bitch he called me a bitch that's crazy but that's my nigga though that's my nigga and then a guy didn't call you his nigga he's like yo yo you my, my nigga yo my nigga was good and talking to you like that no no girl didn't want to be called anything that you could call a man okay and then they started calling girls shorty i'm before that before they didn't call you shorty yo shorty can i talk to you can i can i walk with you no because that girl would have said, we, no. She would have just kept it moving. She would have not liked you. Okay, but nowadays, you know, you don't even need to sell a dream to a bitch because she's ready to jump up on you and she's ready to take care of you and buy you a car and give you money on her pocket and spend money on you and take you to McDonald's and everything. When I was a kid, first of all, if a girl got taken to McDonald's, she would have been like, no, he took me to McDonald's. And her friends would have been like, eh, he took you to McDonald's. I that's cheap. I know that that's cheap. Okay, because the boys would take you to La Rosa and they would take you to a little restaurant and they would spend some real money on you and they would buy you a bite and some rice and beans and shit. Yeah, he would take you out to eat. He would take you in his car because he drove. And if he was driving his sneakers, guess what? Your friends was laughing at you. Yeah, it was fucked up, but that's where it was. Okay, and it wasn't cool in the game to be dating no drug dealer. Oh no, your whole family went down your back if you was a drug dealer, even if you had money. They didn't care. You couldn't buy bitches back then. That was like, oh, you know, she's dating a drug dealer, okay? She's dating a drug dealer, stealing drugs. And that was bad, okay? That was mala. That was ugly. Now that's cute. That's sexy. He got a job, okay? He making $5 an hour. Back in the days, he was making hundreds, thousands of dollars a day. And they were still like this. No, you're going to get locked up. You're going to get yourself locked up, okay? And they was worried about their man. They cared about their man. They cared about their family. They cared about themselves. Nowadays, they ain't really like that. It's like... I mean, you got these girls, they're going to college. There's more girls in college than ever before, and I will go like this for them. Yay. Other than that, I'm not impressed at all because I'm going to tell you right straight up. You couldn't buy girls back then like you could buy and sell them today. They didn't sell their ass like that. And girls, I'm going to tell you, this is how it was. Boricua girls did not smoke that weed in the street like, oh, no, we got that bud and shit. Yo, let's go smoke this shit, yeah. No, they was like, ew, you're going to smoke, that's nasty. That's so bad for you, oh my God, you're going to smoke, and then, then you're going to turn to a drug addict, and oh my God, I can't believe you're going to do that. And it was, no. And if you did smoke, you smoked with your friends over there, the, the dangerous ones, the more, you know, the ones that dare, daring motherfuckers that they were, and you go smoke under a bridge, you go to a park deep under, underground, under... Pfft. You needed a train to get to underground, to the underground railroad and shit. Because, you know, you was not going to be smoking, like, on the corner or at somebody's house with their moms. And, no, that did not happen like it's happening today. It is happening today. These young girls grew up and they smoking with their fucking kids, friends. And, no, you didn't have nobody. Nobody had a cool mom like that. Nobody had a cool mom that even smoked weed. Have you heard of a beer that smoked weed? You was like, oh, my God. It was just did not happen. Okay? And, no. And things were really different back then. It was really different. It was a very innocent time. Girls played jump rope. Boricua girls played jacks. And 
they played with their dolls and they played with and the big deal was getting mommy to your little sister's campus so you could put them on your doll and your friends thought you was all that because you had a little sister so you could use her diapers and her and her dresses and her old dresses and you had doll clothes honey and that you was fierce and girls knew how to sew on the machina and the machine they were like this is someone making clothes and all that these girls today no creativity can't do shit but have sex with boys and think it's cute when I was growing up, no, that wasn't cute. And that wasn't nothing to be proud of. And these girls were not proud of that. And the girls of my time were not proud of that. And if they did that, it was a secret. There was a big difference between the body poor girls of then till now. What I see. Because a lot of you out there are going to have a fit and be like, oh, you don't you don't know me. I'm not like that. I'm with mommy. I'm in the kitchen. I'm, I'm helping mommy clean. I got a father. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, you just like the 80s then. Because if you, because no, not everybody's like that. Nowadays, it's all about materialistic bullshit. And the girls do not talk like that. Like, they be having them on TV talking like this. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. No, they don't talk like that. They talk like regular. They, they actually talk like this. Like, a lot of them talk like this. A lot of these little girls talk like that. They're like, yeah, that's great. Let's go. You want to go on the train? Let's go to Manhattan. That's great. And they're talking like that, okay? I have family. I have family. I have friends. They have family. And they have family. And they have friends. And I see people. Hello. Okay? Yeah. I just hope I wasn't too brutal with you guys from today. And for all of you out there with the sensitive ears, just for the cursing and from this time. And if you feel like, no, that's a little too harsh because we're not putas, are we good girls? That I'm sorry, but this is what I know to be. The girls of my time, innocent. The girls of today, not so much. And there's a lot of masculinity with these body girl girls of today. You did not have that then. The girls of my time were very, very, very old-fashioned. Want to be in the kitchen, Betty home, cracker oven and all that stuff. Yeah, let's, now we could bake, now we could bake cakes. They wanted to sell shit. They wanted to make things and sell it and go around and go, yeah, we made this. You could buy it for a dollar. It's cheap. And, you know, they wanted to sell shit. They want to make shit. They want to help out mommy. And they wanted to do things for, for their parents. And we used to do little shows and stuff for our parents. We used to put on our menudo records and make these little menudo shows. And we'd be like, so bad that, you know, hey. We were creative. We like to, we like to, we like to show off our creativity. You don't get so much of that these days. These girls are a little bit wild. They're wild for themselves. But I will say this about the girls from now. They're a lot more smarter, though. That's for sure. I mean, the girls of my day, they were real big on trying to learn how to type. I mean, I'm from the old school. It was like, yeah, no one, you know what I mean? No one I want for Christmas, a typewriter. And then they got it and they went and everybody was standing around her while she typed. And we thought she was fierce. And now we got the computer. And now these girls are just ragging each other. There was a lot of sisterhood in my time. You don't see that no more. Girls don't band together anymore like they used to band together. Girls would get together and beat a nigga's ass. Girls would get together and beat a boy's ass in the street for hitting another girl. Okay, you hit my sister, I'm going to stab you. My life might have been pretty simple back then. You have your pros and your cons. Okay, we had hoes back then too. Don't, I'm not saying that we did it. Don't. I know we did it. Yes, only we cared about our reputations a little bit more, as I see. We did. And we cared about each other a little bit more. And we were a lot more stupider. That's true. We didn't have all the technology that we have today. But seeing that and seeing the way these girls are so materialistic and seeing the superstars that they look up to and like Snooki and people like that, it's pretty sad. Because I don't think a Snooki ever would have got past any of the girls from the 80s without getting them to go, ugh, what the fuck is that? What's a Snooki? So I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, click like, rate, comment, and subscribe. You know how much I love you. You know how much I care. Mwah. Thanks for watching my show.